I thought we weren't very good at all defensively in the first half, and that really hurt us. You know, the other times we played them, we held them to 54 points at our ha at our place, and we gave up 47 in the first half. We were not good defensively, but you know, we knew it was going to be a challenge because we played at 6:30 last night. So to turn around and step on the floor and play one of the best teams in the conference at noon the next day, you know, we don't have. We don't have a lot of depth on our bench. We have a long bench, but it doesn't have a lot of depth. And with that kind of offense, young, inexperienced defenders get exposed. And our experienced defenders, whether it's fatigue can't be the reason, but you know, we were not very good defensively in the first half. Was the first half the difference in the game? Yes, I think so. You know, it just We gave up a couple easy transition baskets. Fab got two quick fouls for us. Um, you know, and I think that kind of threw her a little bit for a loop. But we gave up some easy defensive transition baskets. But we didn't communicate on the defensive end. We didn't make matchups. You know, they got some easy opportunities. And then when we switched to our zones, you know, we didn't identify that the shooters were in the corner. And that's just lack of focus. Um, and it was disappointing because that first 20 minutes, you know, if you look at the overall season, we were the one team in conference that has really played Florida Gulf Coast close. But it took a monumental effort each time we did it with, you know, a day of preparation in between games. But to turn around, you know, we got done at 8.30 or 9 o'clock last night and have to step back on the floor at noon the next day. It was a tall order. And we weren't they – are the, they are the number one team in the conference. They've won 40 games in a row. They're great offensively. They're a phenomenally conditioned team. And, you know, we had 20 turnovers and they scored 25 points off of it. But it was more – I thought second half we really battled. But you could see the fatigue on our starters. And then, you know, we went to the bench. The young, inexperienced players got exposed. What do you take from this experience the last couple of days? What do you say to your team? Um, I think you take the high from yesterday's win and the low from today and realize that's college athletics. But this, you know, if we aspire to be one of the better teams in conference, look at Florida Gulf Coast. You know, those kids are phenomenally conditioned. They communicate. They play with each other. They play for each other. They do, you know, they're the number one team in the conference for a reason. You know, they make reads. Um, they are all in that boat, you know, and, and they have a championship mentality and a championship pedigree, and you don't get there without working. So I think, you know, we've got hardworking kids, but that lesson that I learned today, we can always work harder. Our skill sets need to improve. Our conditioning needs to improve. Hopefully we're a better seed next year so we have to play – you know, get done at 9 o'clock and have to turn around and be on the court at noon. That's that's just really difficult. What, what did you think of their number 30? She had nine of nine shots, a couple of three. Oh, I watched her in the in their quarterfinal game. Mm -hmm. She's on a mission because she didn't get to play a lot the first year or two she was in the program. And, you know, she's, she's a kid that really has, you know, she struggled early in their system. And she put in a lot of work this summer, and she's reaping the reward, rewards. But, you know. Probably, you know, if I could go back, and my hindsight's always twenty twenty. probably was an incorrect matchup to start the game. Um, but I figured we'd put Chandler on Brittany Kennedy to see if her length would bother her a little bit more. So I'll go back and kick myself for that one probably. But, you know, that child was on a mission the quarterfinal game. She was on a mission the semifinal game. Um, she's out to prove that she belongs on the floor. And I read an article that she was a little upset about not being selected for all conference. So... You know, she's a I'll show you kind of kid, and you got to have a few of those in your program. Can you talk about the game for you today? What uh, what was going well for you, and, and uh, what did they do to you to kind of stifle you a little bit? Um, switching. I mean, photographers do, um, do a good job of communicating on defense, so it's, they kind of bother you, uh, try to get in front of you a little bit. But uh, I think in the beginning, I attacked the rim a lot. I got to the free throw line, kind of shied away from that second half. But I mean, Got to give it to them for the Goku. They, they're a good team. And like Coach said, they're the number one team in the conference for a reason. They're hard. They put in the work. So. Anything different? Try anything different today, or just stick with your, your usual game plan? Because you've seen them so much. Or? No, we changed it up. We thought we would try some zone. You know, the first two games we played them, we played them in straight man. But I also thought if we could shorten the game a little bit, use a half court press to get them to about 15 seconds on a shot clock and fall back into a zone because they're very efficient at running their offense. But we had we struggled to score, so we couldn't get into any of our presses. Um, you have to shorten the game against the Florida Gulf Coast. Um, and we didn't do a very good job of it. We, you know, hindsight's 20-20, we shouldn't have gone to the zone because the first two games we played man. But I was also looking at, we got done at 9 o'clock last night, we got to turn around and play 
and they make you guard for 25 seconds and you have to put a tremendous effort in to in man to be able to guard that for 25 seconds so in thinking to give us a chance maybe we could throw a little zone in there but there's a reason we we were close to our first two games because we played man. That's why we stayed in man the whole second half. And staying in man the whole second half it was close to the last four minutes when we subbed out. You know, right. the game the margin was not ginormous. Right. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you.